What's up guys, serious Evil Stuff Gaming, my name is Evil and let's get it on. Today I want to provide a brand new series, today I want to talk about the UI, the interface and add-ons I'm using. I put everything in episodes because I don't want to go over 10 or 12 minutes for uh, one part. So let's start straight with the installation process. I will show you how the first steps you have to do within the interface and I will put the download link in the description below. Please download everything, put it in your interface add-on folder and afterwards log in and go straight into your char. So here we are uh, at my US account. As you can see right now, I'm leveling my ass off <laughs> uh, with my US droid, with my feral 67 right now. And uh, hopefully I will done real soon. But anyway, that's an, another story. Okay, let's go straight in the char creation. So let's create a new char to show you the first steps. Okay, I want to go male, human, warrior. Okay, looks good. Give this beast a name. <laughs> Evil soft. Okay, here we are. So first of all, let's lock in with this guy. So I can show you the first steps. Emboldened by the okay. return of their hero. Stop this. Okay, here's the first screen you will see. First of all, you have to install the interface. Afterwards, you have a UI reload, and everything should be done. I <laughs> I don't say everything, but uh, it's the installation is done, so to speak. <laughs> okay, let's take some time for the reload. Okay, here we are. So let's go a little bit. Oh, damn. I already know that I got tons of Gildan Whites. So wait a little, little, little. Whoa, Mr. Postman. Okay, go a little bit on this side. Okay. Okay, people, one second. I will. I want to stop the Gildan Whites. So, block Gildan Whites. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's talk about the UI. Okay, let's go here. Okay. As you can see right now, here is a totally mess up. Uh, when you first install uh, the interface. So first of all, the top looks good, as it should. Everything is there. The minimap is also not that bad. So first of all, let's go straight to the footer where we need to configure it and move around a little bit the add-ons and the frames. So first of all, go on the top right side where the Louis option button is click on the option button and here we are in the settings and options for your interface let's go straight to the frame part as you can see in the frame part there's the chat configuration the DBS where I use Omen the DBS where I use Scatter this is this one and as rate frame I use grid. It's a little bit overlapping right now as you can see. It's totally messed up. So first of all we have to move it, move everything and set up everything in the right position. So let's go straight to the moving process. Let's start on the right side. So first of all let's go to the rate frame. Use, uh, select the, the frame you want to use. If you want to use grid, put uh, uh, select this one. If you want to use Healbot or Voodoo or stuff like that or Blizzard, the standard stuff, please uh, click that and select that. So uh, for me, grid is just fine. 
you have to do another reload. Here we go. So, here we are. As you can see, I, you already uh, can, can uh, hide the, the backgrounds in between these buttons. If you want to hide it, just click this. So, as you can see, it's overlapping my scatter frame. So, go straight into the grid configuration. Slash grid. Unlock the frame. And here we go. As you can see, I can move it around wherever I want. So, I want it right here. Okay lock it again okay let's go straight to the scatter part so for set part i go to the option menu again frames dbs as default a recount is enabled so uh, if you want to use recount download recount put it in your add-on folder and here you are it's working as you should and you also can use recount or scatter for me scatter is fine so i select scatter i have to do another reload here we are here we are so activate it as you can as i said before you can activate and deactivate it Okay, as you can see here, uh, the background don't fit with uh, the scatter frame. So we have to go straight into the frame configuration again. DPS. Down. Here you can uh, configure the offsets. So for me, I would say it have to be a little bit higher. I would say 17. Oh, looks quite good. 75. No. 16.5 should fit. Uh, 16. Looks better. Okay. Looks good. So let's move the scatter frame at all. So go straight in the, the scatter configuration menu, unlock scatter, and here we go. We can move it around wherever you want. You can also you don't have to put it on the footer side. You also can put it wherever you want, but it looks a lot better if you have everything you need on the footer side and uh, also uh, the important stuff on the top. And in between you are able to have free space for other add-ons or stuff like that. So just move it and fit it to your grid part. Lock it again. Okay, here we are. So the right side looks really awesome right now. <laughs> okay, let's go straight to the left side. As you see here is the chat frame and the omen frame. So uh, let's let's move. It's overlapping here, as you can see. So let's move the chat frame to the correct position. Let's go to frames again, chat, and I would say we'll we'll make it a little bit higher. We do five five should fit. Yeah, and we make it a little bit smaller in size. I would say 380 uh, was too much. 85, uh, 82. Okay, this looks good. As you see right now, there is a, a background in between a background. So if you want to make it transparency, just click on the, the general part, go to background, and just pull it down. And as you can see, it's done. Okay. 
Looks good. So right now we only have uh, the omen part to move around. Let's go straight to omen. Okay, it's already selected. We can close it and go straight into the omen configuration. Unlock omen and here you are. You can move it around and put it in the position you want it to. Lock it again. Okay. Okay, as you can see right now, the frames looks damn nice. <laughs> Let's do one thing for the first part, uh, for the first episode. As you can see here, there is a, the right bar where you can put skills in or mounts or stuff, any stuff you want. And we want to do the same on the left side. So just go into Louis and click on the bars. On the top right where it says general, just click left bar one, enable it, close it and here we are. You have two sidebars. They are really great. I always put uh, put uh, mounts in it, or you can put uh, skills in it, or macros, or anything you want. So uh, it's uh, great to have. So close it. I would say, as I said before, I want to do it in parts. Uh, I would end up uh, today for part one. And the next one will go straight after to the next part of the configuration. I would say, guys, have fun, enjoy. If you have any questions, please drop me a line below. I will, um, I will take all the questions you have and put it in the next videos. And I also will do a, a question and answer video about the specific questions you commanded within the videos. So if you have anything specific, drop me a line below. I will put it straight into the videos. So I would say I end up with my motto, keep it real. And it's all about the games, guys. Bye bye. Job job. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.